Hi, I'm Mike. Today on the project list, we continue with the high tunnel build. Weather has had us shut down for a few, but soon there will actually be a structure going up on our Wyoming life. <laughs> Welcome back to the project list, a never ending list of things that need done around the ranch. As we take things off the list, we add more, and that's just the way it goes. A ranch contains many working parts that constantly require maintenance and upkeep, but one of the more exciting times on the ranch, or one of the more exciting projects, I guess I should say, is that project where you get to create something new. A creation that solves a problem, like a way to drive over a fence, or a more efficient way to feed calves or a new place to plant tomatoes. There's something oddly satisfying about seeing something grow from a pile of raw materials. Of course, as it's true with any project, you have to lay the groundwork first. And no matter what your project is, whether it's as simple as mowing the lawn or building a high tunnel, the prep work is arguably the most important part. If I head out to mow the lawn and I don't bother to pick up hoses or toys, I'm gonna have a bad day. And the same goes here and the groundwork started weeks ago. Let's get caught up really quick. Dirt work began with moving tons of soil. Our location for the new high tunnel wasn't level, so we started moving fill dirt in. Luckily, we have piles of it, and the process went quickly. Then Aaron and I began laying out the new structure, 30 feet wide, 72 feet long. And once it was all laid out and strung off, we started putting in posts, each in line. 38 posts in total, each one buried two feet deep and secured in concrete. In the shop, we began building the rafters of the entire tunnel, each one 30 feet wide and 12 feet tall, made up of five different pieces of two inch steel pipe, screwing each piece together and then dragging them outside when they were completed until all 19 of them were done and ready to go. Back out at the site with our concrete for our posts cured completely, we still need to do a bit more concrete and dirt work before the rafters can be installed. Winds here can easily reach speeds that begin to cause a number of problems with high tunnels. Covers can rip off. And although that's a bad thing to see, the worst case scenario is that the entire tunnel structure, the whole structure being carried along with it. Wind can be our worst enemy. So we're gonna secure the entire frame of the high tunnel to the ground using ground anchors set in concrete. This requires a bit of finesse, as we need to auger a new hole in the ground close to the existing post holes and try not to hit cured concrete already in place, but still get them close enough that our ground anchors can be reached by the rest of the anchoring system we'll be installing later on. Each hole is dug three feet deep, the ground anchors are placed in the holes, and concrete is added to completely cover the anchor. There was a bit of debate about uh, putting anchors in the same hole as the post, but after talking to an engineer, it was decided to make a new hole and place the anchor in that, and that would provide better strength and security for the entire building. Since all of our rafters are now completed, it's time to move them from the shop to the building site, which is easier said than done. Each rafter weighs about 75 pounds, and we have 19 of them to move across the yard and to the new high tunnel. An obstacle in the way as we have to get through a gate that's narrower than the width of the rafters. So we're gonna to have to drop them off and move them in as well. It's always nice to have some equipment around to take care of the heavy lifting. And with the forks on the tractor, the rafters are moved across the yard to the gate rather quickly and easily. Then we can drag each rafter through the gate to the other side before picking them back up again and moving them to our building site. Each of these rafters will be lifted up in place and put on a post, but before we can do that, we need to add couplers to the posts to receive the rafters, and these couplers are bolted in place as well. Now, with the groundwork completed, it's time to move on to the actual on-site assembly of the building. Groundwork, I guess, in this instance, is called groundwork because it's down on the ground. A big chunk of the rest of the construction is going to be done in the air, or at least on a ladder. For me, there's a couple times in a project that gets really exciting. Of course, there's the moment it's done. But that feeling of satisfaction is also there 
the first time in a project when you can actually see it coming together. The moment a fence starts to look like a fence or a high tunnel starts to look like a high tunnel. And adding this first rafter is a big accomplishment. It slips over the couplers on the posts and with a bit of wiggling, a bolt is placed through the hole to secure it in place. The first one is easy, but now it's time for the second rafter. And as soon as it's in place, we can start tying the rafters together. Brackets are hung from each rafter and we're going to secure them with a piece of one inch steel pipe that's fed through these hangers. This pipe is called the purloin and will hold all the rafters in place and spaced out correctly across the entire 72 feet of the tunnel. We're going to use a spacer that's made out of an old picket fence to ensure that each rafter is exactly four feet on center from the previous rafter and the purloins can then be tightened in place. Each one gets five purloins, the first about seven feet off the ground, then 10 feet, and then the top one at 12 at the apex of the arch, and then the same going back down the other side. We're going to continue adding a new rafter after each batch of purloins and continuing down the entire building. But then weather moves in again. A severe thunderstorm threatens the ranch, and standing 12 feet in the air, surrounded by a steel skeleton, it's probably not a good place to be if lightning does strike. So it's a good place to stop for the day because even though we have this project looming over our heads, we have more work on the ranch to do as well. And the projects continue to pile up. It's all job security. So we're back in the shop and the rain starts to fall outside. Next week on the project list, we'll continue the high tunnel, weather permitting. And we might even be finishing it up by then. Or maybe even Aaron might be planting on it. We'll just have to wait and see how things go. No matter how long it takes, I hope you're going to be back to join us. Please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And we also want to invite you to come and join us this week for our live stream. Thursday night, 7 p.m. Mountain Time right here on YouTube. They're always a lot of fun and we get a chance to sit down, answer a ton of questions about the previous episodes and the ranch in general. So we hope to see you there. Until next time, have a great week. And thanks for joining us in our Wyoming Life.